Alright, good evening guys and welcome back to another Campaign Cartographer 3 video. Uh, my children and wife have gone to bed so taking the advantage to make some new videos for you guys tonight. Um, basically going to be looking at the uh, sometimes hard to answer question of where are the tutorials. So Campaign Cartographer 3 Plus obviously is known to have a high learning curve and um, I'll be honest I don't think the uh, program itself is that difficult to use it's just it's different. It's it's not what you would expect. Um, if you've used sort of um, your your standard sort of imaging programs historically, you come in with an expectation of how the tool should work, and um, you sort of need to learn how Campaign Cartographer Three works in order to get the best use out of it. Um, and that's easy to do. You just need to watch, you know, maybe some uh, YouTube videos, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, um, or you could uh, jump into the many PDFs that are available. So what we're going to do today is sort of just jump in and have a look at some of those and see what is actually on offer. Um, and hopefully it'll make it easier for you guys to sort of get your head around what you can do with this tool. All right, so let's jump over to CC3 Plus and let's have a look. All right, so in front of me, you can see I've got CC3 Plus running. Um, you can see I've been making some uh, lovely space maps here, uh, making these with a Cosmographer 3 uh, add-on uh, that I recently acquired. Um, and basically, that's not what's important right now. The tutorials are not really contained within CC3 Plus. Um, don't get me wrong, the help file um, can certainly link to things, and if you've got it, the uh, Tomb of Ultimate mapping uh, can be uh, obtained by clicking the, uh, the help file. Um, the Tomb of Ultimate mapping is a huge guide that is immensely uh, useful for anyone who's getting started with this tool, um, and it literally goes through pretty much every element of this tool. Um, the, the problem with it is it's an extra cost. Um, so, you know, if you're brand new to the tool and you've just sort of purchased the software, you're probably not looking to go out and spend extra money on a, um, a PDF on how to use the tool. Um, most people would sort of expect that, you know, that sort of thing would come with the tool. And don't get me wrong, there are help files available, um, but nothing as big as this. Um, I can't recommend this enough. Uh, if you do have the extra money um, to basically go and invest in this, uh, I certainly do recommend it. Uh, I find it quite useful, um, especially when I'm learning a new part of the tool or if I want to do something that's a bit more advanced, I can certainly find that in here. Um, so let's just have a quick look on where that comes from. Um, you can go to the Pro Fantasy website. And you can go from the uh, products and you can go Tome of Ultimate Mapping. So this is where you acquire this from. Uh, obviously you go through the process of adding it to your cart. Um, and if we have a look at the cost, uh, what is it, $14.95? Um, that is in pounds though, so you'd need to change that to, let's go US dollars, because that's what most people know. So $19.95. Um, it is a it is an investment. Um, it's a very large PDF. It's a, um, it's certainly um, got a lot of content, and I, I do highly recommend it. But it is not your only option. There are other uh, tutorials out there, and we'll go through and see if we can find some of those today for you. So, if you've just started out with uh, CC3 Plus, one of the things I'm going to strongly recommend for you is that you come to the Pro Fantasy website, you go to the Products button. Go down to Cartographer Annuals and come down here to this free samples button. Helps if I keep my mouse on it. This free samples button is going to let you basically download a few of the annuals for free. Um, and these are fantastic. Uh, annuals generally come with new styles, new symbols. Um, it's basically downloadable content or DLC. Uh, most people would be familiar with these days. There's about 10 years worth of it, um, heading on 11 years now. Um, and basically once a month they release something for the annual so you can subscribe to it and get one thing a month for a year um, or you can go back and purchase the previous years but for the purpose of this video we're going to focus on the free annual samplers. Um, these are basically downloadable content packs that you can acquire and you can install um, and then basically you get extra ability in your tool. So go ahead and download the free annual sampler. Um, you basically just click to follow the links and download. Um, it is a large file, it's got a lot of artwork in it, so just be prepared for that. And once that's done, um, go ahead and install it, um, and then we'll be able to basically continue from there and show you what's going on. So if we have a look here for the John Roberts Dungeons. All right, so let's just pretend that you've gone ahead and you've installed this. Uh, 
We've got the hex style, we go to the John Roberts dungeon. So you've gone ahead, you've installed this, and you're ready to basically go, all right, well, what does that include? So we'll go back to CC3 plus and we'll have a look. We'll go file new, we'll go dungeons, just keeping in mind that I do have almost all of the annuals now, so I've got a lot of here, a lot of stuff in here. There's the Don, uh, the uh, John Roberts dungeon, and we can click next, and we'll give it a bit of a name. Just save that. Where do I want to go? We'll save it in here. All right, so this brings the new style in and all of a sudden you can use it. Um, there's fancy new symbols for you to play around with, which is always fun to sort of explore. Uh, but more importantly, as a new person, you probably want to know how to use the tool. So all of the annuals, at least every ones I've seen so far, come with a PDF guide on how to use that annual. And it's an incredible resource. So let's go ahead and find that. I've always wondered if there's a button up here somewhere that I'm just missing that shows me how to do it. But um, what we're going to do is we're going to open up Windows Explorer. We're going to go to our C drive. Uh, we're going to look for the program data folder. If you can't see the program data folder, you probably need to turn it on in your, um, your folder options. So just press start, type folder. And what you want to do is come into the view bar and you want to heal, uh, click the show hidden files, folders and drives. You want to make sure that is ticked. Click OK. That will display the hidden folder. Inside that hidden folder, you're going to find the Pro Fantasy folder. There it is. This is where CC3 Plus installs. And you can see here, this is where the application is installed. And this is where the annuals get installed. So this is quite important. While we are here, I will point out there's a documentation folder as well. There's PDF guides in here that uh, basically walk you through how to use the basic uh, add-ons or the tool. Um, so for example, if we look for the City Designer 3 Essentials, there's a PDF guide here on how to use City Designer. Well worth a read. Uh, you could go here and have a look at for the Dungeon Designer 3 guide as well. All right, so these are all available. But if we go back to the annual folder, we can basically go through here and we can have a look um, for the annuals that we have installed. Now, yours is not going to look like mine. As I said before, I've got a lot of the annuals installed by this stage. Um, I think I'm, I'm missing two, so I've got most of these. Uh, but you should be able to find the ones that you've got installed. And for this purpose, we're going to look for the issue 54, John Roberts Dungeon. Inside that, we can see a couple of things. So we've got a PNG file that shows what uh, symbols come with the uh, with the add-on. Uh, we can see some sort of test maps, which are really cool. Quite like that dragon. Might use that dragon later for sure. Um, we can see that there's some actual FCW files that you can open up. Now these are really cool because you can open up these maps that they've provided, these ones here, and you can see how they've been done. Uh, can't stress how useful that can be when you uh, start getting a bit more advanced. But more importantly, just in case you missed it, there's a mapping guide, John Roberts Dungeon. And if we go through this step by step, it's basically going to give you a tutorial on how to use this style. So as you can see here, it tells you how to start a new map. Uh, it tells you how to go through and pick that annual style, how to configure it. And then it goes through and basically t um, guides you through the process of building a room, um, how to do the, the next steps and make it more detailed. And it actually takes you through the entire process of making this map. All right. Now, all the annuals have these from what I can tell. So, you know, there's a whole heap of educational material here that can really assist you with creating, you know, very basic step-by-step -step stuff that creates a really good looking product. Um, and obviously once you start to learn what you're doing as you're doing it, you apply those learnings to the maps that you're making. And the next thing you know, your, your map quality has improved significantly. I cannot stress that enough, guys. Um, these tutorials are absolutely amazing. Now, obviously outside of that, if you're not the sort of guy that likes PDFs, please subscribe to my videos. Um, I'll do my best to keep making these for you. Um, outside of that, uh, there are obviously a couple of other resources that I do recommend. So 
If you are a member of Facebook, I strongly recommend you come and join our, uh, our community. So we have the uh, Campaign Cartographer 3 Plus Facebook user group. Uh, as of right now, we have 667 members, uh, which is obviously fairly significant. Um, that's growing every day um, quite significantly. And right now we have a pinned resources uh, topic at the top here with a link to a whole heap of um, sort of stuff that should help you get a, get you know a bit further along this journey of learning how to use this tool. So um, I would certainly recommend Tony Crawford's videos. Um, I would absolutely recommend Joe Sweeney's videos as well. Um, that's basically what I use to learn how to use the tools in the first place. So um, certainly go and check those out. I'll cancel that. But no, so there we go. That's where the tutorials are. Um, they're obviously highly educational. There's lots of them. Um, you know, you can click into basically any one of them and see uh, a guide on how to use it. And there's some really educational stuff in here. So if you're struggling with how to use the tool, grab those free annuals, get them installed, read the uh, PDFs. And, uh, you know, if you've got any questions, come and join the Facebook group and uh, maybe ask uh, a few of the guys in there how to do things. Um, I certainly do also need to mention that the forums for Pro Fantasy um, are an absolute excellent resource as well. The guys in there are very experienced. You're going to find the people in there who have been using the tool forever. Um, they know how the tool works. So they won't know, just know how, uh, like why something doesn't work. They, they will be able to explain to you why the tool is doing what it's doing. And once you understand that, it sort of really helps you take that next step as well. So look, there you go. Um, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, jump along and uh, check that out and hopefully that helps. And look, if you do find these useful, please do feel free to subscribe. YouTube have uh, graciously decided that I'm not eligible for any sort of the fun stuff that comes out of hosting these anymore. So I'm going to try to drive my subscribers up. So if you'd like to see videos, if there's things you'd like to hear, uh, certainly do post in the comments below. If there's a video that would help you take the next step of your mapping, just let me know and I'll go out of my way to make that for you guys. So. Have a great day and I will speak to you on the forums.